guys, welcome to this channel. If you are new, my name is Heather and I am a Catholic Mommy YouTuber. And today I'm gonna to be talking all about St. Nicholas. And if you are new to this area on YouTube, please push the subscribe button down below so that you will get more videos on different things that I talk about with the Catholic faith and our children. Um, so today is St. Nicholas feast day I'm gonna talk about because December 6th, which is right around the corner, um, it's St. Nicholas Feast Day, so if you're looking for some fun things to do with your children to celebrate St. Nicholas, I, I have a bunch of ideas for you, and so I'm gonna share them with you, what we do in our family, and so maybe you might wanna do them too. Now, if you do celebrate St. Nicholas Feast Day, please in the comments below, write, tell us about what you do and what your kids are excited about. So this tradition isn't a huge deal here in the U.S., but um, in other parts of the world, it's actually a pretty big deal. In fact, some families actually give their gifts on St. Nicholas feast day instead of Christmas or Epiphany. So I think that's kind of cool idea to do as well. But th there are just so many different things that you can do to celebrate St. Nicholas. And I love it because it's all Catholic and it's just kind of bringing those traditions to life for our children. So I'm gonna share with you a couple things that we do. What we do on St. Nicholas Feast Day is we will put out our shoes. So I'm just gonna show you kind of what that is. So the kids will put out their shoe and I'll tell you kind of what we do for the shoes because it's really fun for our, our kids, a little fun tradition. And then we will make these cookies. So these are just little, they look kind of like St. Nicholas, if you look at them. So they look like St. Nicholas. They're really cute. They're just like Nutter Butters, and I'll show you how to make these. And then the kids will get to pick out one of two movies. I have two different movies that I have, and so kind of every other year we'll do a, you know, a different movie. Um, there is this one, St. Nicholas, um, which is really hard to find now. I don't know if there's a bookstore of anyone knows of to um that has this but i've been trying to find it to add a link and i just i don't know where it is but it's really a sweet little movie about saint nicholas and then this one actually is really good too this is veggie tales but it actually does kind of follow his story pretty well and in a fun way and stuff so um so they get to watch a movie when they get home from school and then um in the morning you know saint nicholas will have come and then on the start of saint nicholas feast day is when we'll hide this so we don't do elf on the shelf but we will hide this little guy and the kids will go around and try to find them and then they get a little treat when they when they find him and they just love it and that's until Christmas the coming of Christmas and the kids know that it's me it's not like not any big secret but for some reason they absolutely love it and um there's this but I, there's all they're all over there's little toys and stuff that you can get that is Saint Nicholas or just the st statue of Santa you could do but um I love this one it's um, really cute. Okay, so then the night before St. Nicholas feast day, we'll put out their shoes and I like to put them under the tree just because I think that's really cute and sweet. And so pretty much what is in here, I'll just let you know what's in here, is there's usually typically traditionally little fruit or nuts that you put in there. And actually traditionally the Mandarin is what you put in the shoe. Also putting gold coins in their shoe is traditional because if you know the story of St. Nicholas, he was actually really wealthy and gave away all of his money to the poor and people who needed it. And so this kind of symbolizes like the him giving money to the poor. And so this, these you can just find at Hobby Lobby or Target and these are just little chocolates inside of them. They're really cute. They're pretty easy to find. And then they get the first candy cane of the season. And then the thing that I like to do is I will give each child an ornament that kind of represents where they are at that stage in their life. So my son Thomas is really into football right now. So I found this at Hobby Lobby for a couple dollars. It wasn't a lot. And what I'll do is I'll just write his name on it really small in permanent marker and then the year on it. And then when he moves out, I will give him a whole box of ornaments so that he has something to put on his tree when he grows up and moves out of the house. 
And so that's just what I'll put in their shoe. It's not anything big or elaborate, but it's really sweet and they get really excited. And then they put the ornament right on the tree when, um, when they find their shoes. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do is just show you how to make these little St. Nicholas cookies. They're super cute and the kids love them. And I'm not usually a DIYer, but um, these were really easy. So I'll show you really quick how I made them, just in case you wanna make them with your kids. Um, and do little fun crafts or ideas and stuff. And so this is how you make these cookies. Okay, so what you'll need is white chocolate, unsweetened coconut flakes, and then red sugar, just sprinkles red, and then Nutter Butters, and then also some black frosting or something for the eyes and nose. So then what you'll wanna do is melt out the chocolate with a double boiler. Just like this, you put water underneath and then on top, you'll just stir it until it is all smooth and creamy. And then once it is all smooth and creamy, you will want to just, just want to dip your Nutter Butter into the nice creamy white chocolate. And that is where the hat comes in. And then you will just put it right in the red sprinkles, just put it in a cup and then it'll look like that. And then you'll do the same thing, you'll repeat the same thing, and then that is the beard for the St. Nicholas. And then you can dip in your chocolate flakes if you have, if you want to. You don't have to, but they kind of add some texture. And then you just add the eyes after that to each one. And I'll put on my Pinterest, how to make these as well, um, step by step. So if you wanna go on my Pinterest page, this is what they look like at the end. They're super cute and they're really, really good. My kids absolutely love eating them, as you can imagine. All right, so that is how you make the cookies. They're super easy and the kids love them. They taste really good and stuff. So I hope that um, you enjoy that. If you like doing crafts, this is probably totally up your alley. Um, but anyway, St. Nicholas is such a fun, fun tradition in our family. I thought that you guys might enjoy it. Please, in the comments below, write if you guys have ever done St. Nicholas Feast Day or maybe this is the first time you're hearing of it. Um, definitely let me know. I'm very curious and I hope that you guys are having a great Advent so far. I am and I'm excited to dive even deeper into the love of God and the coming of Jesus so soon at his birthday. So anyway, until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.